Hi and welcome to Introduction to Urinary Catheters. My name's Tev Aho. I'm a consultant urologist based in Cambridge and London in the UK. Uh, the aim of this video is to give some basic uh, introductory information about uh, urinary catheters. So to begin with, what is a urinary catheter? Well, it's essentially a soft, hollow tube. Uh, I have one here which is used to drain urine from the bladder uh, to the outside. Now, um, in most cases, uh, ca uh, catheters, urinary catheters are placed through the urethra to reach the inside of the bladder. Uh, however, um, in some situations, it's not possible to access the bladder through the urethra, and uh, therefore uh, the other route uh, through to the bladder is directly through the skin in the lower part of the tummy here, uh, just above the pubic bone. Um, if a catheter is placed through that route, it's referred to as a suprapubic catheter. Now, um, this, let's have a look at the actual structure of the catheter itself. So um, this is what is referred to as a two-way catheter. It's uh, called that because there are two um, separate pieces uh, at this end of the catheter, which is uh, uh, outside the body. Um, the main uh, channel here, this piece, uh, contains the main channel which is used to actually drain the urine from the bladder. Uh, if you look at the other end, the tip of the catheter here, which sits in the bladder, there is a small opening on the side, on that side. And if we turn it around, there's also another smaller opening just opposite that on the other side. Um, it's through these holes that the urine drains to get into the main channel. And then it runs down and out uh, through here um, to the outside. Now, the second channel is used to inflate a balloon um, which actually holds the tip of the catheter in place. So um, I'll just show you how that works. This is a model of a bladder here, this bit, and a prostate, so this is a man. Uh, the urine channel from the bladder drains through um, the middle of the prostate. Uh, in some men, or in most of us actually, as we get older, the prostate tends to grow, and if it grows inwards, it will tend to obstruct this channel. And that's a situation where we may use a, a catheter to drain urine from the bladder. So um, uh, the rest of the urethra is not part of this, is, is not illustrated here, but in a man, the urethra will, will, will take a bit of a bend here and then come out through the penis. So the, a urethral catheter in a male is placed through the penis, along the urethra, th uh, through the bends, past the bend, up in through the channel, uh, that goes through the middle of the prostate and then the tip um, is uh, pushed up gently into the, the middle of the bladder. Um, now just for illustration purposes uh, I filled this a syringe with some red wine so you can see it but normally it would be sterile water that we'd use to inflate the balloon um, and if you watch the end of the catheter here in the bit that's just sitting inside the bladder you'll see that the balloon is slowly starting to inflate. So um, we would inflate that uh, to the recommended uh, level, depending on what type of catheter has been used. And then uh, once that's inflated, we detach the syringe here. Uh, and if we look at this end, the bladder end now, you can see that uh, if the catheter comes back down a bit, it will be held securely in place by this soft balloon. Uh, the tip of the, meanwhile, the tip of the catheter is sort of part way up from the floor of the bladder so there'll always be a little bit of urine sitting in the bladder here but not a lot as soon as it reaches this level it will drain out through the uh, holes at the end of that catheter now uh, if you have a catheter already you may be wondering uh, what the number um, numbers at the end of the catheter mean um, so just to have a look at this if every catheter has a number printed on this part of it uh, of, of the catheter. Um, in this case, it's a number 16. What that refers to is the circumference of the tube here in millimeters. So uh, in this case, um, uh, the width or the diameter of this is, um, uh, the diameter is 16 millimeters um, in total. These catheters are also color coded. So um, a size 16 is an orange, uh, has an orange tip. Uh, this one here is um, a size 14 that has a green tip. 
and um, uh, red uh, is the, uh, the color for an 18 um, uh, catheter, a 20 is yellow, a 12 is um, white. Now, um, uh, once a catheter is in place, uh, obviously we can't just leave the outside end like that, otherwise urine would just drain out through that and, and cause a mess. So um, there are a couple of options as to how you can manage um, drainage through the catheter. This option is called a flip flow valve. So essentially, um, it is a uh, it has a little tap mechanism on it, which is worked by a lever. Um, if you're not sure uh, which um, direction of the tap is off and which is on, you can look through the middle of it. And if you can see through the middle of it to the other side, um, like a telescope, that means the tap is open, the urine's gonna drain through that. Um, if you can't see through it because you've flipped the tap in the opposite direction, that means it's good because uh, the tap is off and uh, nothing will leak out through that. So um, if you want to avoid having a bag on your leg the whole time, um, when you're up and about, you can use one of these. This end here will plug onto the end of the catheter um, uh, just leaving this uh, outside the catheter. Now, um, at night time, you, um, you don't really want to be getting up in the middle of the night to empty uh, your bladder through this. So um, you can use what's called a night bag. Now a night bag, um, the capacity of the average or the normal regular night bag is two liters. This is an example of a, a night bag here. You can see it's got quite a long tube here which is good because it means you can move around while you're asleep and it won't uh, uh, tug on the uh, catheter. So you just plug uh, the, the night bag into that side of the, the valve and you make sure the valve is open so the urine will just drain continuously um, while you're asleep into this big bag, which um, you can attach through some small uh, openings here uh, onto a, uh, a holder which just sits on the floor or on the side of your bed. Um, so that's a, a flip flow valve and the night bag attached to it. During the daytime though, um, you, uh, your bladder is going to fill up um, as it normally would um, once the, if the tap is, is, is off. Um, so this is a more sort of natural way of managing your uh, catheter and your bladder because um, when, when the uh, tap is closed, your bladder will uh, fill up with urine. When you feel a normal urge to pee, what you need to do is um, go and uh, hang this over the uh, toilet and then you can open the tap and urine will drain through. And once it's finished draining, you just uh, flip the switch back over to, to close the tap. Um, the other way of uh, uh, dealing with uh, drainage of urine through a catheter is to use um, a leg bag. So a leg bag, as opposed to a night bag, is, is smaller. And these actually come in different sizes. So if you want to be very discreet because you're going out somewhere and you want to hide this leg bag uh, underneath your shorts or your trousers, uh, then you can go for a smaller size. Um, and uh, these bags, I'll have to use it on my arm to show you, they have straps uh, on the back of them. And uh, these uh, are used to strap around your leg to hold it in place like that. Um, you can then uh, wear trousers over the top of this so nobody knows that you've got a catheter in place. If you don't like the straps um, or if your skin is uh, thin uh, and uh, is being damaged by the straps, um, then you can use a, a sleeve, uh, which you can buy, uh, you can buy um, on the internet through Amazon or eBay. In fact, you can buy any of these catheter bags um, online if you, if you wish. Um, usually in the UK, they're supplied free of charge uh, through the NHS and through the District Nursing Service. But um, it, you can use a sleeve which has a pocket in it and essentially you wear the sleeve over your um, leg and it can be either the thigh or the lower leg and then um, there's a pocket in the sleeve that the bag will fit into. Um, so you don't have to have the straps um, if they're causing you problems. Now, um, if you're using a bag, um, a leg bag, then um, at night time, you can do exactly the, uh, as you did with the flip flow valve and at the bottom of the bag where the um, you normally empty it by using the same sort of tap mechanism here. Um, you'd keep that tap open at night time and you'd connect um, the night bag uh, to the uh, 
to the bottom of the leg bag there um, so that you can move around a bit more easily and you've got a long length of tube in here so that you, it, do, it doesn't pull on you. Um, so uh, those are really the main uh, drainage um, options for you. That's been a basic introduction to uh, catheters, urinary catheters. Uh, and please uh, have a look at my other videos uh, if you'd like information on um, what can be done to uh, free men from uh, urinary catheters who have them placed due to prostate obstruction. Um, and there is also a video about um, uh, tips and tricks for DIY problem solving um, uh, of issues that can arise quite commonly due to uh, a catheter uh, being in place. Thank you for watching. All the best.